So what is React? React is a JavaScript library created by Facebook that lets us build dynamic user interfaces. Wait, what does dynamic user interface even mean? Let's say that we have a web app with three timers on it. We have the ability to create and delete a timer. When you click on a button to create a timer, a form will pop up with fields for you to fill out. And when you hit enter, the app creates that timer for you. When you decide to delete a timer, if you click the delete button, the timer will remove itself from the page. That is pretty much what you would call a dynamic user interface. React was created because the Facebook dev team wanted a better way to structure JavaScript applications. So why use React? Number one is for reusable components. Components are a huge part of what makes React, so understanding them is crucial when programming with React. Components let you split your code into separate independent reusable pieces. You can think of components as functions that can take inputs, called props, and return elements describing what should appear on the screen. You also take those already created functions and reuse them in other parts of your app without any problems. So React components are like individual Legos that can build something great when connected together and they're also reusable. So number two is for the virtual DOM. Even though JavaScript is fast enough to handle complex web applications, DOM manipulations are still not too fast. Updating the DOM is usually the problem when it comes to achieving optimal web performance. That's where the virtual DOM comes in. How the virtual DOM works is it keeps a copy of the real DOM in storage and whenever a change is made, the update first goes to the virtual DOM, the virtual DOM then compares its DOM with the real DOM and applies the changes to the real DOM in the most efficient way possible. The number three is for props and state. So let's start off with props, short for properties by the way. Props are used to let components talk with each other. That's pretty much it. Props let you pass data to other components for them to use it. And um, another thing to know about props is that you cannot change props. And you may be thinking, then what can I use for values that change over time? What do I need for values that, that, that change frequently? That's where state comes in. So props shouldn't change, but we need inputs that can change its value. The purpose of states is so that components can keep track of information between any renders it does. When you change a part of the state, it updates the object and then it re-renders the component. It's also important to note that you should have as little state as possible. Reason being is, let's say that you have a car. A car has many moving parts and eventually things break. And the same thing could happen if you have too much state in your React application. And for components that don't need any state, we have two types of components, stateful and stateless components. Stateful components are components using state, which means they have values that can change. Stateless components, on the other hand, are components that don't use state, which means they don't have values that change. If you'd like to learn more about React, I'll have a link to a tutorial on the info card at the top left of the video.